Maxime Washer Lagrave beat women world champion Ju Wenjun in round five of the Gibraltar Masters. Let's find out what happened in this exciting game. Maxime, it got exciting very early on. You took a little time and went G4. Was it, were you trying to recall lines or over the board inspiration? It was more like over the board. I felt like uh, I want some tempi, so I should be able to, to try it, but I wanted, um, you know, to be sure it doesn't lose by force because uh, it very well could. And uh, then things got hit. Um, I'm not sure about the evaluation. I didn't actually check, so so who knows what it was. <laughs> right, now, but Wenjun continued to play pretty fast while uh, your clock went down. Um, was it, uh, what was going on in your mind at that point? Well, I thought it was doubtful she was still in her prep, so I just went for it. And uh, of course, I needed a lot of time uh, f for my first 20 moves or something because there was uh, a lot of things happening. Right, now give us some insight what happens uh, to an elite player of your level when you're sort of caught off guard in the opening so early on. What goes on? Well, I guess I caught myself off guard, so this was sort of the plan to get a fresh position for maybe both of us. I'm not sure she, I mean, she was at probably at some point in, in her preparation, but then, uh, you know, it was just a adds up game. <laughs> and could you point us uh, to the critical moment in the game? I have no idea. I mean, there were so many. Um, I guess when I got Queen G4, um, it was already close to winning for me with this idea of Knight E4. So I thought Rogue 7 was too slow. And I wasn't sure So if she could have played some B5 instead of Bishop D7. That looked very critical as well. Right, now tonight is the battle of the sexes and you just beat the woman world champion. Feeling confident? Uh, unfortunately, I have teammates. <laughs> that doesn't show a lot of confidence in your friends. <laughs> well, uh, am I supposed to show confidence for them? Okay, now you're quite a regular at this event. Give us some idea, what's the team strategy? Team strategy, um, generally we play something off bit, we get outplayed, and then sometimes we, we, save, uh, we save the day. So I hope uh, we understand that they can play, and we go less off bit this time. <laughs> all right, well, it's going to be fun, and uh, all the best for it. See you soon in our studio. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.